where we can cross live to Beirut and speak to Firas al-Khatib. He is the UNHCR's public information officer for Syria and he joins us now. How bad is the situation in Moadamiya? Well, just like any besieged uh, area, these people have been deprived for long periods of time from uh, water and uh, food and medical supplies. So this uh, aid convoy is very essential and uh, it's timely and we hope uh, to make use of the cessation of hostilities to reach more uh, besieged areas. And what sort of aid is most desperately needed? You, obviously food and water, but in terms of medical supplies, what sort of things are you providing those people with? Basically, it's food, water, nutrition, uh, medicines, uh, non-food items, and uh, medical supplies. Humanitarian efforts have been hampered for a, a very, very long time. Uh, has the secession of hostilities helped agencies to get to these very hard-to-reach areas? As you may know, uh, the uh, delivery of aid convoys to uh, besieged and hard-to-reach areas ha have been going on for uh, quite some time. We uh, take advantage of secession of uh, hostilities to increase and improve our aid and delivery to these besieged and hard to reach areas. There are more than 4.5 million people living in uh, besieged or hard to reach areas. And last year we were only able to reach 10 or 15 percent of that population. What is the biggest? So hopefully this year we can uh, reach. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest hurdle that you face? Well, uh, Syria is a big country. We have um, uh, difficulties, logistical difficulties, uh, geographical difficulties. We have areas in remote uh, locations in, in remote areas. And it's uh, opening up and going for the first time, sending aid convoys all over these uh, locations. As you know, there are uh, uh, about 500,000 people in uh, besieged areas. And what is also a concern to us is the 4.5 million people in hard-to-reach areas that also have not been uh, uh, receiving regular humanitarian aid. Okay, Firas Al-Khatib, thank you.